And with the news, Fetterman tweeting this morning, legal weed in PA, pass it on. He also changed his personal Twitter page's avatar to a marijuana leaf with the caption, Governor Wolf asks lawmakers to legalize marijuana. I am joined live on Zoom tonight by the Lieutenant Governor himself. So thanks so much for joining me tonight. Sorry. So Lieutenant Governor, you retweeted Governor Wolf today with the text, my boy. How are you feeling but, uh, about what it's, happened? It's my, my dude. Uh, my dude. My, and uh, yeah, I, I did because um, I'm so grateful to the governor for acknowledging what we all need to know in this time is that we need to uh, legal marijuana is serious policy for these serious times. And uh, today was a, an important day. And I know there's going to be resistance, but we need to make sure that um, we keep our eye on the prize. And that is making sure Pennsylvania is in the best possible condition to move forward and survive this pandemic in the best possible financial shape. And legal marijuana is not a panacea, but it can be a serious option for jobs and revenue. Let's get to the root of the issue. Why do you think marijuana is illegal to begin with? I really can't tell you. It's a plant, and it never really made much sense. If you are opposed to legal marijuana, then I, I can only assume that you're opposed to legalize alcohol or tobacco or opioids, or you would oppose gambling. The, the, the point is, is that all of these things are safe and legal and regulated here in Pennsylvania. And they have a lot of downside. Everybody knows that. And this idea that a plant, that a plant with no known medical overdoses, uh, deaths, could be criminalized to the point where we punish tens of thousands of people every year and give them a criminal record and are denying uh, our state treasury billions of dollars in long-term revenue. I, I honestly don't understand the prohibitionist mindset when it comes to cannabis here in Pennsylvania. People all across Pennsylvania love our medical marijuana program, even though it has some shortcomings. Uh, and it's a bipartisan issue to legalize it. Uh, a majority of Republicans support it. A majority of, uh, a big majority of Democrats support it. This is not controversial. Cannabis prohibition is a true minority viewpoint here in Pennsylvania. Some KDK viewers today said they could care less either way what happens, but they wanted to know what does this have to do with COVID? Well, we are looking at could, what could be a $4 billion deficit here in Pennsylvania. So what does it have to do with COVID? It's like, where else can you create billions in long-term revenue, create tens of thousands of new jobs, give a crash, uh, excuse me, a cash crop to our farmers, to restorative justice and criminal reform, justice reform against the thousands and thousands of Pennsylvanians with, with uh, a record just because they consumed the plant. Um, it, there is no other solution that I'm aware of that is so turnkey, so supported by the public, and so ready to benefit Pennsylvania. And uh, some of your viewers may not know that New Jersey will vote this November to legalize marijuana, and 40% of our population is going to be within a 30-minute drive of legal marijuana, legal, New Jersey's legal marijuana. And I would prefer to have it be um, our legal marijuana as opposed to a different state's. We reached out for the Republican response today, and we want to pop that up on the screen. I'll read it to you. The PA House Majority Leader saying, Governor Wolf has spent the last six months turning his back on the people's representatives in the General Assembly, despite our numerous attempts to work with him to fight this pandemic. It is disingenuous for this governor to put forward an unaffordable legislative agenda and require taxpayers to bail him out of his unilateral mandates that have devastated their lives and livelihoods. What do you say to that? Like, what, what a bizarre statement. It doesn't even mention it because they don't want to mention it because they know that it's popular and they know people want this in Pennsylvania. So this idea that, that it's, it's a controversial uh, opinion, it's much more controversial to oppose it at this point. And, you know, this is coming from the folks that don't think you should wear a mask in, in, indoors uh, being around people. The, the bottom line is, is that I know I'm right about legalizing marijuana in Pennsylvania. And the ultimate test would be how long it takes the legislature to realize that this makes sense at every level, whether it's employment, whether it's for jobs, uh, excuse me, uh, for revenue or restorative justice or cash crop for our farmers, help for our veterans, you name it. It, it doesn't make any sense to, con to continue this um, prohibitionist mindset in Pennsylvania. 
What are some of the best arguments you are hearing from the other side? Some people saying, what's next after marijuana? Will people be driving while they're high? What do you say to that? Well, I mean, this is a legislature that, appro that approved a, uh, you could get a margarita curbside handed to you ready to drink the size of a big gulp. They, they didn't seem to have a problem with, with, with driving under the influence with that. And this idea that marijuana, you can't consume that as responsibly as, as alcohol. Should we make alcohol illegal then? Um, again, I don't, I don't understand the logic of an individual that says, hey, it's okay to get a margarita handed to you in your car, ready to drink the size of a big gulp, but we can't trust adults to safely consume a plant at home or in a manner that doesn't put themselves or anyone else at risk. I, I genuinely don't understand how somebody can hold those two opposing ideas at the same time. My last question is, there's some people watching tonight, at least five have emailed me today, still waiting for money from the state's unemployment office, and they're upset that the talk today is about marijuana. What do you say to that? I, I would say that the unemployment situation continues to be dire, and legalizing marijuana would create tens of thousands of new jobs. And in an environment that doesn't require any subsidies and it would take care of itself it would create all these new jobs and to those people that have been denied uh, or having trouble getting their unemployment dollars i mean that's that's truly unfortunate and the backlog continues to get smaller and smaller and steps have continued to be uh, be taken but but we're not where we need to be yet but it was an overwhelming surge of the unemployed and the backlog continues to dwindle down to the point where we'll be eventually all cut up, but caught up. Lieutenant Governor, we really appreciate you taking the time. Thanks so much for spending some time with us here tonight. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks for having me.